Hi everyone. Today we're going to be establishing communications to our Armron CP1H PLC. And the first thing we'll, we'll actually establish communications two different ways. One using RS485 uh, using host link method and the other is the built-in USB port on the unit itself. And so our hardware, if we look at the um, the USB it's just a USB printer port um, so it's a printer cable and the one cable itself attaches into this side of the PLC and we can plug that in um, and the other side will then plug into our computer when we power this unit up now it's important that any um, uh, of these modules that we are going to program just pull this one out, flip it around, and what you'll see is we have a series of dip switches. In my case, I have dip switch number two, three, and five and six on to indicate that I'm operating on RS-485. And that then powers right back or pops right back into that socket. So again, make sure that power is off. It will snap in. So now we have um, our hardware set. We also have a, um, a converter that goes from my USB port into um, the Omron. And this model is actually from Automation Direct. It's a USB-485M. So it's just a USB to 45 serial converter. So when I pl I'll plug that in, and there's a previous uh, links that I'll have to show you how to install that. So once we have that plugged in and, and monitored, then we can power up this CPU. There we go. And so you see my run and my power lights are on. I can now, what we'll do first of all is do the RS-485. I'll plug this into my system. And because I've installed this before, I can then call up my um, device manager from my control panel on my Windows machine. And what I'll see is under my port settings, I see that it's actually assigned COM5. So we have to remember it's COM communication number five. Okay, we can get rid of that. And as always, if we refer everything that we're doing today to our CX Programmer Introduction Guide, it's a great tool. So you should have one of these around hand when you're doing any kind of, of uh, communication. And actually, it's in the second chapter, Online and Debugging. That's what we'll be more or less concentrating. So more detail is provided within that uh, uh, Programmer uh, Introduction Guide. So now let's... Uh, we got our COM port. We know that we're going to be communicating. We have everything installed. Then we'll call up our CX programmer. We'll call up the program that we did last time, our start-stop jog. We'll open that up. And here's our program. So what you'll see at the um, under the ACC uh, PLC, we'll just double-click it. And it actually comes up with our change uh, PLC. And right here, our network type, this is how we're going to communicate. So instead of USB, we'll select SysMac Way. And then we'll go to Settings. Now under the Settings, we want to make sure that everything's zero here and host link number zero. Our driver, again, we selected COM5, which is the one that we just um, saw that we um, it took over when I plugged that uh, USB to RS-485 converter in. And this is the default rate for all ARM run. It's 9600. Uh, seven data bits, even parity, and two stop bits. So we'll say okay to that. Okay to that. And now we're all set to communicate. Now the first thing we shall do is you'll see that we have a button up here, work online. And then we have a auto online. The work online basically will take that um, PLC setup or that um, that we just told it and say try that connection to see if we're going to establish something and the online the auto online will actually look out through the network 
and it will actually try to find that PLC and, and, and dump the program down. So in our case, what we're going to do is hit this work online triangle. And it's going to ask me, um, about to connect to, do you wish to continue? I'll say yes. And now what you'll notice is that everything starts changing. We have here where it says our PLC, we now say it's run mode. And up here on our ladder, you'll see that we'll actually change the background and we can actually see the, um, the monitoring of the uh, IO bits if they're on or off. And that's all done through this toggle, uh, the PLC monitoring. So the first thing, once we've established communications, is to uh, put the, put the uh, program into the PLC itself. And what you'll notice is on the actual PLC, we have a comm light. That comm light is actually flashing right now. So we know we are communicating. So we'll go to PLC and then we'll say transfer and we'll transfer to PLC. We'll leave everything as default and we'll hit OK. okay. Then it's going to give me a couple of warnings. This command is going to affect the state of the PLC. Do you wish to continue? And remember, we're currently in our run mode uh, as indicated by that run light on our PLC. So, do you wish to, yes, we're going to continue. And then it gives you another warning saying, make sure there's no problems if the PLC stops. Do you wish to, um, do you want to switch, switch the PLC to program mode? And again, what I'll say is yes. And when I do so, it'll go into program mode. And the run, the run light will go off. It will then uh, transfer the, the program down. And then it will come up and say, I've done all those tasks for you and the transfer is successful. There we go. So hit OK. Once again, I get a warning message saying, make sure there's no problems when I go from the program mode back to run mode. Again, I'll say yes. And what you'll see is we have our output window down here in the corner and it automatically pops up when we do things like transfer. And again, we have, uh, it tells you how much memory we've used and that we have zero errors, zero errors and zero warnings in the controller itself. And there are my two sections of ladder program. So I can just close that off. So now we have our program that transferred into the PLC, but now we need to really confirm that that is in there. So we'll go PLC, we'll go transfer, or we'll go, we have to click on the actual uh, ladder. We'll go PLC, transfer, and then compare with PLC. And it's going to say compare options. Again, we're going to just compare the programs to make sure they are exactly the same. We'll say OK. And then it starts transferring and comparing these programs together to make sure they match. And again, we get a, a response saying the compare is successful. That means that the instructions were exactly the same. So we have the exact same program, which what we, is what we expected. A lot of times when we go onto the field, we need to verify that the program we have is what's in the PLC and vice versa. So that's a great in way of doing that. So you see right now we have uh, communicated to our, our, through our Azure 45. Now let's just stop that communication. And what we'll do is go back and we'll try our USB connection. And what I'll do is plug in my um, physical hardware here and into my computer. And then what we'll do is go to our, our uh, PLC here and instead of the network type uh, SysMac way, we'll go to USB. And under settings, you'll see again, everything is left as default. We'll just hit OK. OK. And then once that's done, again, we hit our online triangle because we don't want to auto search. We just want to connect to what we wanted to uh, connect to. So hit that. Do you want to connect? Yes. OK. And once again, 
you'll see that now we're communicating. But in this case here, we're under the peripheral light and it is actually blinking now for us. So we know we have communication. Again, just to verify that, we'll go to um, PLC, we'll go to transfer, and we'll go to compare the PLC program again. And it comes up, compare successful. You'll also notice that it was a little faster than the uh, RS-45. Uh, and that's just the um, inherent nature of the USB connection. It is a little quicker. Okay. So, um, all the links and the download for the program can be found on our website. Um, and the and the and the video or in the website according to this video here. Also, if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information on YouTube. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video, or you can go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. Now, when you do that, you'll get notification every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also be getting uh, two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Right, thanks for watching.